What up you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to be back in the kitchen with you today because we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna be making easy, simple, and delicious raw vegan meals that you can make from home right now. Now originally this video was supposed to be a what I ate today video because technically it is exactly what I'm eating today. However, I've simplified it a little bit. So I'm gonna be sharing with you three dishes that only have three ingredients each. Now I know three ingredients might sound a little boring to some of you, but trust me, they're not. These meals are incredibly tasty, yummy, flavorful, however you wanna say it. And not only are they efficient, but cost effective, and hopefully you'll have a little bit of fun making these with your loved ones as well. For those of you who are interested in more raw vegan recipes, please download my Fully Raw Recipe app that has more than 300 raw vegan recipes there for you. It's available on iTunes and Google Play and I'll be sure to include a link below for you as well. I will be adding in these recipes ASAP, so hopefully by the time you watch this video, these recipes are already in the app. So let's go ahead and jump right into these recipes and get this party started. Are you ready? Let's go. So we're first gonna start with a juice. If you're looking for a green juice that will help to alleviate anxiety, to help calm your nerves, or even just something to help remineralize your body, this juice is a must for you. Now most of you already know that I start off my days by drinking green juice, and this one is simply delicious. The three ingredients that I'm using are celery, parsley, and lime. And if you don't have lime, you can use lemon. If you don't have parsley, you can use cilantro, but that's it, those are the three ingredients. Celery, parsley, and lime. As you can see, I'm gonna be making about 64 ounces. I'll put the exact ingredients on my app, but for the most part, I would just say you can ballpark this if you want. You can do about a head of celery, a bunch of parsley, and one or two limes or lemons peeled, and you should have a good amount of juice. I'm using my Nama juicer to make this recipe. I'm obsessed with my juicer. For those of you who are interested, you can always check out the links in the description below. They do have a 10% off deal happening right now if you use the code Fully Raw Spring. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on this juicer and let's make this juice. I'm first gonna run through my lime and then my parsley and then all of the celery. Once everything is juiced, I love to run it through a strainer. That way the juice is super smooth and you can pour it into whichever jar you'd like to enjoy it in after that. Voila, a simple and delicious green juice. Yes, yum! Green juice is my favorite thing to start the day with. It is so refreshing. I just feel so much better after I drink it. I love green juice. It does the body good. <laughs> Lots of people tend to ask me how long a green juice will last in the fridge. I'll probably take about 20 to 30 minutes to slowly sip on this just because I am a slow eater and I really like to enjoy and chew even my juices. Um, but I would say in a sealed tight glass jar or container like this one, I say it can last in your refrigerator for up to 24 hours. So enjoy. Totally off topic, but while I'm enjoying this with you, I've really been getting into sprouting at my house lately since it's something I wanted to do during this extra time that we've had. If you guys are interested in a video on sprouting, 
please give this a thumbs up and maybe comment below and let me know if you sprout at home, which ones do you like, what do you do? Just let me know. So it's about lunchtime and around lunchtime, I usually enjoy a smoothie. And one of my favorite smoothies is a chocolate cherry protein shake. The three ingredients that I'm gonna be using for this recipe are ripe bananas, and by ripe bananas, I mean really ripe bananas, the kind that have speckles down them. Uh, I prefer them this way because they're sweeter and softer and the starches have been converted into carbohydrates. I'm also gonna be using frozen cherries, about one pack of frozen cherries. It's about two cups. If you don't have frozen cherries, you can use frozen blueberries. And the third ingredient is my Sun Warrior protein powder, and I'm using the chocolate fudge, which is their collagen protein peptide building one. Out of all of them, this is probably my current favorite just because I really love how the chocolate tastes with the cherry. So those are my three ingredients. And if you're a person who likes to have your smoothies less thick, an optional add would be just to add in a little bit of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel my bananas and put them in the blender. Add in the frozen cherries as well and one scoop of Sun Warriors Collagen Chocolate Fudge Protein Powder. After your smoothie is blended, go ahead and pour it into your glass jar of choice. Look at how beautiful this color looks. Yum! <laughs> I'm so excited. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Yum. Do you guys love banana smoothies? Because I love banana smoothies. It's really hard to go a day without a really good banana smoothie. So I hope you love this recipe. And also just knowing me, I just wanna let you know, I typically do add in um, a super greens powder into here, the one from Sunwear that I've shown you before. Um, and sometimes I add, you know, some toppings on there as well. Maybe some mulberries or cacao nibs or something. But for the sake of keeping this a three ingredient recipe, this is what we got and it's perfect. Oh, it is so good. You're gonna love it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's better than good. It's super banana-y, bam bam y wham pam a pam y It's just yummy. It's just yummy. We'll stop it at that. I'll, we'll move on to the next recipe now. <laughs> The third recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you is a delicious marinated purple cabbage salad, and it is so yummy. This is technically our dinner recipe for the day since it's our third recipe that I'm sharing with you. And it's kind of like a coleslaw, but without so many added ingredients. It's simplified and it's just beyond incredibly <laughs> delicious. It's just so good. I wanted to show you something first though. Yesterday I made the salad and I put it in a glass jar um, to let it sit and marinate for a bit because it tastes really good if you let it marinate overnight. And this recipe can last in a jar for up to a week and you can add it on to other things. You can enjoy it with a kale salad. There's just so many extra things you can do with this. In a way you could use this as a sauerkraut or as a kimchi replacement, put it on some <laughs> avocado toast or crackers. It's just a great recipe. Now, you can eat the salad as is, as I'm gonna share with you, and then you can save some for later if you want in a jar. And because it's purple cabbage, you can make a lot of it very easily, and there's just abundance in this recipe. So, the three ingredients that are involved in this salad are purple cabbage. I've got one head of purple cabbage here, and obviously that's a lot, so you'll definitely have some left over. I've got one yellow onion, you can also use a red onion, and I've got apple cider vinegar uh, to taste, however much you wanna use. Now, optional ingredients, if you wanna get fancy with this, you don't need to, 
it's gonna taste great with the three ingredients, but if you do wanna add some pink Himalayan salt or some black pepper, it adds a nice flair to it. And last night I tried this cabbage salad on top of a bed of kale with some drizzled tahini. Oh my gosh, it was just such a good dinner. I'm just giving you ideas, okay? I'll put that in my app for you as well, but for the most part, let's get started in making this recipe. You're gonna need some clean hands because we're gonna be massaging the cabbage. You'll notice I took off my rings and you don't need any equipment. It's easy, so simple, three ingredients, cabbage, onion, and apple cider vinegar. Let's do this. When I say that this recipe is easy to make, I was not kidding. As you can see, I have thinly sliced a head of purple cabbage right here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take as much purple cabbage as you'd like to add into your salad and place it in your bowl. I don't know about you, but I love, love purple cabbage. So once you add your purple cabbage into your bowl, I like to kind of squeeze it a little bit just to make it less, how do you say it, um, just hard. The more you massage your kale, even when there's nothing on it, the softer it gets, especially the softer to chew. So I kind of squeeze it a little bit, almost as if you're marinating, but without anything on it. Once you've squeezed it a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour my apple cider vinegar on top of the salad, spreading it around evenly as much as I can. For those of you who wanna use your hands, you basically just get in here like this, you smoosh it, you massage it with the apple cider vinegar. It's really yummy. I'm not afraid of my food. I mean, I kinda like to play with your food sometimes, right? So once you have the salad marinated the way you want it, you can go ahead and add in your yellow or red onion. Now, I like to sprinkle mine out evenly and I'll mix it in with my hands. Um, but this just adds a really nice spice to it and when it mixes with the vinegar, it's not as spicy or as hot as you think it is. Actually, when you begin to mix this in with the salad, the onion kind of turns a little sweet, which is adds a nice little sweet and sour texture to the salad. Another option would be that if you don't want to use onions, you can use shredded carrots. I do like using shredded carrots in this recipe, I just don't have any in my house right now, which is why I am using onion instead. When you're done, this is your final salad, and you can enjoy it just like this, or if you're feeling a little extra, you can add on some salt, some pepper, or as I suggested earlier, you can put this on top of a bed of kale or romaine, sprinkle it with some tahini or avocado or whatever, however you wanna enjoy this, you can, or you can enjoy it just like this. Just because I want to give you guys an idea of what happens overnight when you let it sit, look how soft it gets overnight. Like the juices kind of come out and come together and it's just a lot softer. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. You can definitely tell a difference when you let it marinate overnight. The flavors are just far more intense and it's just easier to chew. Such a good recipe, such a good recipe. It's kind of like a pickled salad, right? A pickled cabbage or onion salad and it's just awesome. It's efficient, it's quick, super affordable for those who want just a few ingredients. I love this recipe. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today in this video. If you've liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there's only more goodness to come. Just wanna say how much I appreciate all of you, especially those of you who leave kind comments and who've been a part of this community for a while. I'm just grateful for you.
For those of you who are interested in more of my raw vegan recipes, please download my Fully Raw app. I'll put the links in the description below for you. It's on iTunes and Google Play. Hundreds and hundreds of raw vegan recipes in there for you, as well as shopping lists, challenges, and more, and I really hope you love it. Any other information you need will be added in the description links below for you as well, so be sure to check them out. And if you have any video ideas that you'd like for me to do next, leave them in the comments. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Thank you again for joining me. Sending you all my hugs and my love, and I'll see you soon. Bye.